Welcome again to another tutorial. I would like to talk to you today about mount modeling in PRISM. PRISM can automatically calculate the errors in your system and systematically remove them if they're repeatable. This is based on a T-point model and by definition T-point is a computer software that implements a mathematical model of conditions leading to errors in telescope pointing and tracking. The model can then be used in a telescope control system to correct the pointing and tracking. Such errors are typically caused by mechanical and structural defects. For example, T-point can analyze and compensate for systematic errors such as polar misalignment, mechanical and optical non-orthogonality, lack of roundness in telescope mount and drive gears, as well as flexures of the, mount, of the mounting caused by gravity. So as you can see, this is a very intelligent way to understand the errors in your telescope and compensate for them. So today I'll show you how to acquire these models first. This will be a multiple part video because it's so extensive. So to start, connect your equipment, the camera, your telescope, and head over to observatory, pointing model, scan fields for pointing model. So in the first tab, we'll select what the camera will be doing. So with the exposure time, I would like it to be in the range of five seconds. We're gonna do a full frame, but you can crop or window your camera, uh, your image if you want. Full frame, half and a quarter. You can choose a binning. I choose three by three to lower the size of the stars and to speed up the downloads. And you can also choose what camera to use to acquire the points. Plate solve, you can show the catalogs in which one. Uh, I highly advise against using the Gaia DR1 because this is an online download and it might take a while. Please use the local catalogs you have. I recommend the UCAC4. It's available on my site, so is USNOA2 as well. And GSCACT is built into Prism when you install it. So no need to install this one. I typically choose 60 stars for validation of plate solves and you can check this box if the plate solves fail. So PRISM can look within a search radius about a degree around that point to enhance your chances of having successful plate solves. You could limit the field by our angle, east and west, elevation from horizon and declination. The sky area to sweep, which is where to acquire these pointer models. I'm sorry, these, these points. You can do all sky for an alt as mount, since there are really no sides. Or for an equatorial mount, you can choose the western side of the sky or the eastern side of the sky. We'll choose the west side of the sky for now. Create fields. This is where you create the actual pointing fields. You can choose the meridian angle gap in hour angles and the meridian deck gap in degrees. You can also take into account your horizon if you have defined it previously. Options. You can save the images for later analysis. Pick a folder. You can do telescope random slews so it's not in sequence. And we're very excited to introduce this new advanced function to model 10 micron mount. This option here will inject the actual acquired points into your mount and the mount itself can process the model. So all we got to go back to now is create fields, create field list, and PRISM will output 36 points depending on the criteria we've given it. And for this side, we have 36 points. For a really good pointing model, I highly recommend 100 points per side. So all you have to do now is press start process and Prism will head over to point number one, take an exposure plate solve and analyze the error of pointing and keep going all the way to the 36 point. This concludes this session. And I'll see you on the next one so we can analyze the data acquired by this function. Thank you.